Hi, Paul Wilkinson here. Uh, this is the third part of a trilogy of videos talking about playing beautiful string chords, some advice on playing beautiful string sounds. So I'm not going to recap uh, one and two. I shall put the links for those below this video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to have a look, first of all, at what's called the add nine chord. Uh, and then we'll have a look at what's called the sus chord. So all the previous videos have talked about a chord having a major third. So if we're in C or a minor third, E flat for C minor. So first of all, let's have a look at the add nine chord, which is basically this. You could think of it as an add two, um, but it, it also has the um, third in there. So it's used called an add nine. You often get a chord called a C six nine, which is the C, the six note, one, two, three, four, five, six, added there and often the ninth put up there. That's a nice chord, that's called a C6-9. That's a chord from the 1940s. Uh, tunes like, if you know some jazz tunes called All of Me and Take the A Train, you'll find that a lot in those kind of standards written in that in that period. Uh, so, so that's the, the nine chord and I don't want to go over old ground because I have talked about the nine chord a lot in parts one and two. So let's talk about the sus chord. What's a sus? So if you see the word C sus, that literally means take the, the third and suspend it to the fourth. Here we go. So that's C sus. Also can be referred to as C sus four. There it is again. If you get C sus two, you take the third and put it down that way. So now this is C sus two. So let's run with the sus a little bit. So you can get, here's a C seven card. You can get C seven sus where you take those notes we had, which was C, E, G and B flat and just move this one up to there. So now you get C7 sus, have a listen. You can also include that in a minor chord. So if I play C minor seven, and I stick that in, we don't call it a sus because we're not suspending the third note. We call it C minor 11, have a listen. might be interesting if it's distributed a bit differently where we put that 11th sound up at the top. That's an interesting sound, isn't it? So that's how the sus is referred to in a minor. We call it a minor 11. But in a major chord, it is simply this. That is C sus 4. So that's the sound of the sus. Uh, let me give you one more uh, top tip about this. If you want to play a really lush sus chord, think of this note here. This note is a C. And a beautiful sus chord would be called a suspended 13 chord. Now, that's quite a hard chord to think about on the fly, but let me give you a little rule. So think about, here's the note C. What is a tone below C? Well, not that, but one more down. So that's two semitones down gives you a tone. So that is a B flat. Now, if I think to myself, if I add a B flat major chord above a C, I get a really beautiful sus chord. Look. So that could be referred to as B flat over C, but it is a sus nine chord. I could also think of it as a B flat major seven chord over a C. That is now the full chord that I was just talking about a few, mo few moments ago. A C 13. It's got a nine, a sus, and the 13, and the seven. Have a listen to this. I'm going to finish with this card. This is a beautiful card called the C sus 13. <laughs> 